Hey guys, I got a little bit of news for you. It's uh, <laughs> it's pretty hefty, but it's not Yankees news. Um, Juan Soto, super duper star. You may have heard the story today. Super duper star Juan Soto uh, was offered a 13-year, $350 million extension before the lockout by the Washington Nationals. And um, he rejected it. He said no. This is 23-year-old superstar outfielder, left-hitting generational, left-hand hitting generational talent Juan Soto. And a 13-year, $350 million offer he said no to. Uh, Enrique Rojas you know, confirmed this. Juan Soto himself confirmed this today too. And um, that's a big chunk of money to say no to. But the fact is, I mean, of 13 years, 350, he, he can get more than that, probably over 10 years in free agency. But that said, he's not going to be a free agent for another three years. So um, 2026, I think it is. And um, so he's got a while. So what, what does this present now? Does this present an opportunity for the Nationals to come back and try to up that offer or to package uh, or to try to trade him now? Um, they have to decide, are we going to build around this guy who said no to this extension, or are we going to keep him here and hopefully add, spend that $350 million elsewhere, bring in Castillo, bring a, bring a bunch of other guys, a bunch of other guys to build around him. So, you know, and, and there's speculation that'll come out today too, that he's enamored with the Yankees. Now, I don't know how accurate that is. I'm not sure if anybody knows, but, um, you know how much it would cost the Yankees to acquire this guy in a trade? Like, you know. I mean, Dominguez and Volpe, you have to say goodbye to immediately. You're not going to get him for less than that plus more. This is not going to happen. So, you know, if if this is even a feasible thing, do you, do you, do you consider yourself like, well, Volpe I, he could be our short future at source up. Uh, Dominguez could be our future. He could be essentially our next Juan Soto. Um, and, you know, he's projecting really, really nice right now. So is Volpe. So is it worth pursuing this thing? And obviously Juan Soto is a top five player in all of baseball. So, yes, I mean, he's the type of player you want to build around. But does it make more sense to keep those guys and get a Brian Reynolds instead? Because um, essentially you can get Brian Reynolds for less than Soto. You could probably get Brian Reynolds and Matt Olson for the cost of one Juan Soto. So there's a lot of different ways to think about it. But what would you do? I mean, let me know what you think of this news as well. Because he's gonna probably going to cost $40 million a year free agency. It's just like Vlad Guerrero Jr. is going to cost that much in free agency. So this is crazy. But I, you know, I, I, I can see why he said no. Because that's essentially, I mean, it's, it's a relatively low ball offer too. It's, it's that 13 years, 350. Let me just put that in the calculator here. Um, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. It's under $30 million a year. And again, $30 million a year, it's hard to say no to, but like, you know, <laughs> so let's see, 350 uh, divided by 13, $26,923,000 dollars and 77, um, yeah, $923,077. So under $27 million a year for 13 years. That's just a little bit more than Bryce Harper made. 13, he made three, 13 years, 325, so, but again, Soto's going to make more than that, Soto's going to make more than that, and again, rightfully so, he's also 23 right now, so this is the time where you get a guy like that, but what would you do if you were Brian Cashman, is my question, we'll talk about it more tonight on the uh, live stream, over now.